Welcome to Pathways Magazine. This program is designed to give you a whole bunch of tools to help you empower your life to go one step beyond where you are right now. In this episode, we're going to be having a close look at Tai Chi and see the healing benefits of Tai Chi. We're also going to speak to a hypnotherapist about the unconscious beliefs that stop you from achieving your personal best. But right now, I'm going to speak to Bev Brock about life purpose. I'm speaking with Bev Brock and we're going to be talking about life purpose. So, what's life purpose, Bev? A very confusing journey, Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's an interesting thing coming to an expo like this and you see so many opportunities, so many pathways that people can take. Mm. And, and I really feel for people because everyone's searching. I mean, everybody mm. knows there's got to be a reason. It can't be as complex as it is without there being a purpose mm. for what we're doing. And, and the concern I have in, a, in something like this is that uh, a lot of people get really enthused, get carried away mm. in a particular modality and they think this is it, this, mm. is, what, this is what it's all about and it is at that time. Mm. They dive into it and then because they think that everything's going to be perfect there, that mm. life's just going to unfold and it's all going to be wonderful and rosy and mm. it is briefly, mm. they get in the zone, they work from that level of super consciousness where it feels fantastic mm. and then suddenly the wheels start falling off a bit. And, and it's not quite what they thought it was. And so there's the risk that people get disillusioned and, and fall off the wagon. Mm. When in actual fact, if we could just see that there are many, many different pathways and it evolves. And, and at this time in our life, this is great. This is good for us. Mm. And it helps shape us to become a more rounded person. But it's not going to last forever. Mm. And anybody who does buy into something thinking it's going to last forever is closing off the doors to further opportunities. Mm. And so... What I try and encourage people to do is to look and say, at this moment in my life, I'm doing this and I'm going to make the very best of it. I'm going to be creative and make myself the very best I can be in this. But I know next week, next month, next year, this will have finished. And I'm yeah. going to evolve into something that's different and more realistic at the time. Yeah. It's not that the previous has been wasted. It's just that it's helped make a different facet of who you are. Yeah. So for me, life purpose is absolutely being in the moment being prepared to blend and change, you sort of become a chameleon, depending upon what's necessary at the time. Yep, yep. So it sounds like you're more like a spiritual pragmatist, where there's a, there's a sense of practicality about what you're talking about, but it's also following the natural ebb and flow within yourself. Absolutely. I, look, I'm feet on the grounds type person. <laughs> I am. I'm real, I'm pragmatic, dealing with the here and now. Mm. And, and it concerns me when you get people who get um, carried away, become floaty, if mm. you like them, mm. <laughs> and, and lose sight of the fact that you've got, this is real. You've got to fit it into real life. And mm. real life has dramas, has challenges, has, and not everything is going to be fixed by this one modality. Mm. You know, there's going to be applications for many different things. And so I, I encourage people to be open-minded, to, to sort of embrace lots of different philosophies. Mm. And whatever sings them, to me, life's about a process of elimination. It's the pyramid. And the broad base at the bottom is the things that you start with and bit by bit you tick them off and eliminate. Okay, I've mm. done that, not real for me anymore, move mm. on. Mm. Until at the end you get to the pinnacle, mm. which hopefully is enlightenment, we all want to get there some yeah. stage, <laughs> and hopefully the journey gets simpler. But the reality is that it gets more challenging for most people. The further mm. along the line you get, the bigger the hurdles because you're never given anything that you haven't been prepared for. And mm. so the challenges get bigger rather than smaller. Are those challenges compounded if people get caught in like the faith of what they're doing type thing rather than being flexible and being open-minded about other, other possibilities? That's true. It is very true. They have to be flexible. If they get caught up in this and think that that is the be-all and end-all, they will face difficulties. Mm. Um, you've got no right. None of us have a right to go out there to anybody and say, this is the way, this is what it's all about. Mm. It might be the way for them for a brief period in their life. Mm. And, and it's like with religion, I'm, I'm certainly you know, not one for throwing the baby out with the bathwater. Religion has its place. It's fantastic yeah. mm. for a person as long as they understand that that's right for them and that another religion's okay for somebody else. Yeah. And then if we go out to the hot and tots out in the back mountains, just because they haven't had a church there, it doesn't mean to say they're not going to end up in heaven alongside you. Mm. Because God doesn't say, the God that I know doesn't say, this is the only way and everybody else is wrong. Mm. And so, you know, I encourage people to be a little bit more flexible, a bit more open-minded. Mm. And hopefully they allow their life purpose to be one of those things that's an evolving and eliminating process. Mm. So um, 
I find shows like this absolutely fantastic that you've got so many people willing and open to embrace different philosophies. Mm. Um, but I encourage them to have an open mind and understand yeah. that it's not the be-all and end-all. Yeah. So really life purpose is about following a particular pathway that you mentioned before, funny about that, pathway. Absolutely. A, 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 an interesting pathway that's very unique to the individual. Absolutely. You know, if you, if you take a mountain, there is a path that goes straight up the mountain. Mm. And we could all take it. But it'd be too simple. You get there too soon. And then what are you going to do? You've got the rest of your life sitting up there filing your feathers, wondering what the hell you're going to do with it. And typical journey is going that pathway up the mountain. There's a lot of deviations, a lot of pathways. And and a person will go off and become a clairvoyant, a healer, a a, a teacher. Mm. And they think that that's what it's all about. But all it is is a deviation that's sort of taken them on a bit of a roundabout journey. Mm. Eventually, they will get to the pinnacle. And it depends upon how many deviations they want to make. And we can make, we have a choice to make. Our pathway can be simple, straightforward. We can get there simply, straightforward. And then I suppose we sit and contemplate our navel. I don't know anybody who's got there yet. And anybody (laughs) who claims to me that they're enlightened, I keep saying, well, as soon as you say that, you're indicating that you're not. Mm. Because there's a lot more. You know, our purpose for being is being here on earth to be creative to create ourselves to the very best that we can be whatever that's going to be and it's going to change Mm -hmm. well I love the concept of a unique pathway I think if we all have a unique we've got a unique story to tell I think that's whole now in regards to other workshops or other uh, training you've done a lot of women's work in the past can you tell us about that Uh, look I love to to work with women and and my reason is not that I don't like working with men but when I work with women they're open they're willing to admit that they have flaws they have mistakes Mm. They are looking for something that makes them all rounded. Mm. And the woman is essentially the one within any household, within any home, who provides the energy that the home builds on. Mm. The male is out there being the protector, the provider. He really doesn't have the time Mm. to do those instilling of those ideas, Mm. beliefs that the family are based on. Mm. Mm. So uh, if I run a retreat for women, and I run uh, one for 100 women at a time, um, and I like to do it and keep it, very affordable Mm. Friday night Saturday Sunday where we have speakers and entertainment and Mm. therapists they pay a little bit extra for therapy because I don't believe you should have to pay a fortune to Mm. have access to this information to this Mm. this skills it's very affordable absolutely it has Mm. to be affordable because the people who need it most are the ones who are struggling most and they're usually the ones without the money the ones who've got plenty of money it's not a problem they can go and pay anytime, anywhere. And so for me to see women come into their own power, but to then have them understand with empowerment comes a softness. It's not a strength that says, I'm going to make him pay, because I find it very disturbing that so much of women's lib is about women getting their power and being on top. Instead, we, you know, I encourage the women to say we live in a complementary society where we're only 50% of the human race. Mm. And it is pointless to get out there and say uh, and to become holier than thou and know it all mm. and isolate yourself from the partner that you share your journey yeah. with. So to me, it's all about empowering women to understand it's your 50% of the equation and this is how you work with the other 50% to make this a complete complementary unit. It's mm. the true yin and yang. Of a, of a relationship and so we have fun we have we challenge we have tears we have lots of different things uh, and I have to say I've never had to advertise year after year you get a hundred women close it off um, first in best dressed yep yep that's awesome well look your philosophy really is in line with what Pathways is all about I'd, I'd actually like to invite you to uh, be one of the hosts on our new show are you interested oh, that would be fantastic, Stephen. What a <laughs> wonderful opportunity. Good stuff. Well, look, I'd like to introduce Bev Brock, and she's going to be one of the new hosts on our Pathways magazine TV show. So I welcome to Pathways. seeing you. Thank you very much. Good stuff. So I've been speaking to Bev Brock about your life journey. For more information about the guests that appear on Pathways magazine, you can visit our website, www.pathways33.com. Now, after the break, Melissa Keogh is going to show us all about Tai Chi, so stay tuned.